Buenas noches, teacher. Hi, good evening, Raquel. How are you? Very good. Excellent. And how was your day? Pardon? How was your day? Bien. Okay, perfect. En referencia al, a las consultas que le hice ayer. Ajá. Fíjese que en tres oraciones sí ya me lo corrigió con el punto. Pero okay. la, la tercera oración, que la pregunta es, is, uh, que si las clases de inglés es por la mañana. Sí. En esa le pongo respuestas. No, I'm, I am not. Ajá. English class in the morning. Y no me deja pasar siempre un error. Y ese ejercicio me dijo que es el 1.11, ¿verdad? Mm. ¿O cuál? 12, 1.12. 1.12. Ok. Ah. So I'm going to share screen right now, so you can see it. Sí. Me dijo que las primeras tres ya las tiene. La primer, ajá, las dos y la cuatro ya me la deja. La tercera ajá. es la que no me deja. Ok. So you can see that the question that we have says, is your English class in the morning? Aquí, ¿de qué estoy hablando? Ah, de la clase. Ah, ok. Si sí, yo estoy hablando de la clase y quiero sustituir clase de inglés por un pronombre personal, ¿qué pronombre sería? Ah, uh, it. Okay. Fíjese que también probé, también probé con el it. Y siempre me daba error. Lo único que yo le ponía it's será eso, porque la contracción la ponía en, en, en el pronombre. Ajá. No, en el verbo to be, perdón. No, la, la ponía con el pronombre. Ajá, la, pon, la ponía como it's. Ajá. Será por eso que me daba error. Mm, va, permítame. Porque si usted estaba poniendo no... It's. Ajá, ¿y de ahí qué más le ponía? Y de ahí not. Ajá. English class in the morning. Uh, no, it's not English class in the morning. Like this? Así? Así. Y me lo daba como malo. Vaya, sí, porque aquí como ya tengo lo que es el it o el it's not, va yo aquí yo ya entiendo que estoy hablando de lo que es la clase de inglés, lo uh -huh. cual quiere decir que aquí tengo dos sujetos. Por eso es que le tiraba la respuesta como mala. Es como que usted me dijera, no, no, no es la clase de inglés en la mañana. O como que, otro ejemplo, no, yo no, o no, ella, uh, Beatriz, por ejemplo, no tiene clases en la mañana. Entonces, estamos usando dos sujetos. Entonces, ahí el sistema sí se lo puede reconocer como malo, porque acá tengo lo que es el lead que me viene a sustituir ese sujeto. No puedo tener mm. dos sujetos en la misma, digamos, así seguidos en la misma oración, por ejemplo, digo yo, um, por ejemplo, Raquel, she is not student, por ejemplo. Como que le dijera a Raquel, ella no es un estudiante. Tengo dos veces lo que es el sujeto. Entonces, uh -huh. yo lo que puedo hacer es omitir uno de los dos, ya sea Raquel o she. Si yo solamente digo, Raquel is not a student, se da a entender. Ahora bien, si yo lo quiero sustituir por el pronombre personal, en este caso es she. She is not a student, igualmente. Tiene lo que es sentido. Ok, pero que vayan así, digamos, seguidos sin ninguna conjunción coordinada, ahí probablemente se lo va a dar como malo porque estamos usando dos sujetos. Diferente sería que le dijera Raquel y Beatriz. Ya aquí, como estoy hablando de dos personas, are not. Ah, pues 
students. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? I'm great. And you? I'm pretty good. Thanks for asking. Okay, teacher. Okay. Um, um, teacher, I, I could not connect to the English class yesterday because I had a video conference with Supervisor Board of the Profession of Public Accounting um, Auditing. Ah, okay, uh, excellent. Um, um, as Tuesday, um, what, uh, um, jueves? Thursday? Jueves? Thursday, um, six, at 6 and 9 p.m. Ah, okay, so Tuesdays and Thursdays, you're having video conferences? Yes, teacher, yes. Ah, okay. Thank you for letting me know. Okay, teacher. Not a problem. Remember that once we finish the classes, uh, we share the videos on the YouTube channel we have, so you can take a look to the classes there, okay? Or if okay. you want me to share the link, I can do it in the group we have on WhatsApp, so you can take a look to the class and see what we studied the previous day, okay? Okay. Excellent. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay. Um, tell me, what do you remember about yesterday's class? What did we study yesterday? Can anyone tell me? Possessive adjectives. Ah, perfect. We studied possessive adjectives and what else? A statement would be? Statements, which type of statements? With be? Yes, but were they questions or affirmative or negative statements? I am. Uh -huh. You are. He is in the contraction. Okay, perfect. Yes. We were making a review of the statements with be. But also, if you remember, we studied um, how to make WH questions using the verb to be, okay? And how did we say we're going to be making information questions with B? Does anyone remember? W, w H question plus verb to be plus subject plus complement. Okay, perfect. Excellent, Gerardo. So you can see here that this is something that we studied yesterday. We said that with information questions, what we are going to do is to begin with a WH word. Then we are going to use the verb to be a subject, and if necessary, a complement, okay? Perfect, thank you. So today, we will continue with the section one, and we are going to listen to the following conversation, okay? Yes? Yes. Yeah. So let's, let's go ahead and listen to the following conversation. Please let me know if you can listen, okay? Okay. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation between two people where yes-no questions and short answers with B are introduced. I want you to listen and notice how Sun He and David ask each other yes-no questions and how they answer. How's it going? Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class is in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go. Okay, so there we have the short conversation. And... We are going to practice it.
And here is it. Okay. So I'm going to need two volunteers. Let's see. Do I have volunteers? Hi, teacher. Thank you, Gerardo. Yo. Who else? Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Who? Okay, so let's begin. You, Gerardo. Hey, David. How's it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Oh, sorry, no sé cómo se dice chemistry. 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 Are chemistry. you are you and Beth in the same class? No, we aren't. My class in the morning, her class in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Let's see, I need two more volunteers. Yo, yo teacher. Yo. Okay, so I have Francisco and who else sí. say yo? Uh, Ricardo. Okay, Ricardo, thank you. ¿Quién empieza primero? Hey, David. How, how is it going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love chemistry. Chemistry, are you embed in the same class? No, we are in my class in the morning, her class in the afternoon. Listen, I am on my way. I am on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Excellent. Thank you. And I need two more volunteers, please. Thank you, Tamara. Leslie? Okay, thank you, Leslie. Hey, David. <laughs> okay. Hey, baby. How, how it's going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So, are your classes interesting this semester? Yes, they are. I really love uh, chemistry. Chemistry? The chemistry? Chemistry. Chemistry. Okay. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same, same class? No, we are in. Uh, my class is the, in the morning. Her class is in the afternoon. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria. Now, are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, perfect, thank you. And do I have the last volunteers? Thank you, Brian. Raquel. Okay, and Raquel. Hey, David, who is going? Fine, thanks. How are you? Pretty good. So are you places interesting this semester? Yeah, they are. I really love this chemistry. Chemistry? Are you and Beth in the same class? No, we are in my class is in the... Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure, let's go. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to give you general feedback about pronunciation. So we have the first question here that says, how's it going? Okay. It going? Yes, how's it going? Here what we are doing is to link. Aquí estamos uniendo estas 
dos palabras, ¿ok? No digo house et going, sino que lo que hago es unir el sonido de la S con la I. Y me queda house it going, ¿ok? Um, another one I could see that we are having difficulties with this word, chemistry. Ok, even though you can see we have an H, aunque tenemos una H, we're not going to read it, that one is going to be silent, and it's going to be, like, and it's going to be pronounced as a sound, chemistry, ok? And another one that I could identify is this word. How do you pronounce it? Afternoon. Afternoon. Excellent. It is afternoon. Ok, la mayor fuerza de voz está en la última sílaba. Noon. Afternoon. Ok. Yes. Ok. Any questions for this conversation? No. No, teacher. Ok. So, solo, solo, tengo, solo tengo una pregunta. Siempre, siempre solo suena cuando está CH, se suena como la C sola. O en este caso, chemistry es excepción. Um, hay excepción, sí, porque en algunos se va a escuchar como, por ejemplo, let me remember, chair, chair, lo que es silla que vamos a pronunciar ambas, pero en este caso, como hablamos de chemistry, la materia, no lo pronuncio como la C, sino que viene a tener un sonido de K, chemistry. Chemistry. Yes. Oh. But don't worry about it. Um, we are going to be studying that later. Ok. Sí, hay ciertas palabras que sí no se pronuncian tal cual están escritas. Ok. Ok. Gracias. You're welcome. Okay, uh, another question. No? Okay, so the next topic that we have on the platform is about yes, no questions with the verb to be. What do you remember about yes, no questions? And are your classes interested this semester? Ah, uh, okay. Answer is, yes, they are. Is your birthday tomorrow? Perfect. Is your birthday tomorrow? Okay. And how do we make yes, no questions in English with the verb to be? Verb to be? Uh-huh. Plus subject. Yes. Plus complement. Okay, perfect. So that's the way that we are going to be making yes, no questions in English using the verb to be. As one of you said, we have here the first example. Are your classes interesting this semester? What is another question that we have here? A yes, no question with the verb to be. Can you tell me? Are you Hi. and Beth in the same class? Excellent. Are you and Beth in the same class? And do we have another one? Are you free? Perfect, Brian. Are you free? Okay. So you can see that there we have some yes, no questions. So we are going to make just a review about them because that's something that I know you studied last module. So we are just going to make a review, okay? So let's watch the following video and then we are going we'll to depend be practicing, on the okay? At the end of this lesson, participants will be able to make yes, no questions and give short answers with B. Yes, no questions and short answers with B. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. 
Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Is Beth's class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Are you and Beth in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we're not. No, we aren't. Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Take a look at the questions in the chart again. Are you free? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't. See the structure of the questions. B plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Keep in mind the verb be will depend on the subject we're talking about. Also, when answering an affirmative, you have to always say yes he is, yes we are, yes you are. Your answer should not be just yes. You do the same with negative answers. When your answer is no, you have to answer by saying no he's not or no he isn't. No, they're not, or no, they aren't. Okay. So that was basically the review that we have for yes, no questions with the verb to be. Okay. So let me just share this right now with you. Okay. So here we have yes, no questions and your answers with the verb be. Uh, let me see who hasn't participated right now. Selena, can you read the questions, please? I'm sorry, Selena, but we can barely hear you. Se le escucha así bien a lo lejos. Are you free? Okay. Yes, I am. No, I know. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Daphne, can you read the next question, please? Is David from Mexico? Yes, he is. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Thank you, Gabriela. The next one. Is Beth class in the morning? Yes, it is. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Thank you, Beatriz. Are you and Ben in the same class? Yes, we are. No, we are not. No, we aren't. Thank you. And the last one, Karen? Are your classes interesting? Yes, they are. No, they No, they're not. No, they aren't. Okay, perfect. So you can see, as Gerardo was saying at the beginning, uh, Yes, no questions are going to be make as the following. We are going to have the verb be first, then we're going to have the subject and the complement plus the question mark. So you can see that on the first question, the verb be that I'm using is are and the subject is you, you, you. and the complement free. free. Perfect. The second one, the, the verb to be is? Is. The subject? David. David. And complement? From Mexico. Mexico. Perfect. Um, on the next one? Is. Okay. Is. Subject? Beth's. Beth's class. Perfect. Beth's class. And the complement? In, in the, the morning. morning. Excellent. The next question. We have the verb to be that is? Are. Subject? You, you and bed. Perfect. You and bed. And the complement? 
in the same the class. Same. Excellent. And on the last one, the verb to be we have is our the subject. Your, your classes. Your classes. Your classes. Okay. And the complement. Interesting. 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 Okay. Verb. Do you have questions on how to make yes no questions using the verb to be in English? Or is it clear? It's claro. Yes, is it clear for you? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you. So let's go to the following activity. Uh, we are going to make questions using the words that we have in brackets and a form of B. So for example, number one, let me see. Um, someone that hasn't participated today, Jonathan. And the first maybe is, are you hungry? And your answer? Uh, yes, I am. Or no, I'm not. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Let's see the next one. Um, let me see, Carlos. Yes, teacher. The second question. Um, um, is she your sister? Is she your sister? Perfect. And affirmative answer? Uh, yes, she is. Negative? No, she isn't. Thank you. Beatriz, the next one. Um. We are on number three. Okay. Um, what is it? Okay. It, uh, okay, just take a look to the subject that I have, that is I. So what is the form of the verb be that I use with I? With I, so. Uh huh. What is it? Es que no lo he entendido muy bien. We are making yes no questions using the verb to be. Estamos haciendo preguntas cerradas con el verbo to be. Decía uno de sus compañeros que para este tipo de preguntas inicio con lo que es el verbo to be, luego el sujeto, complemento y el signo de interrogación. Ve, si yo tengo aquí esas palabras, I, late, y quiero hacer la pregunta, ¿cómo me quedaría entonces? Sí. Any idea? Okay, remember that you need to begin with the verb to be. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's see. Um, Karen, can you help Beatriz, please? I'm a late. I'm sorry, can you say that one more time? I'm a late. Am I? Okay, so it's going to be am I late? Thank you. Let's see, the next one, Tamara. Uh, the, uh, you happy, this is? No, we are here. What? They from America. Ah, they, are they from America? Excellent, Ricardo, the uh, next one. Is he a tennis player? Okay, uh, Brian, the next one. Are you happy? Okay, thank you. Uh, Daphne, the next one. Is she at home? Thank you, Gabriela. Is he doing? Okay, perfect. Gerardo, the answer for number three. Am I late? Yes, I am. In negative? No, I'm not. Okay, thank you. Uh, Francisco, are they from America? Yes, they are. Or, no, they aren't. Thank you. Raquel, is he a tennis player? Hola. Yes. Uh, the escucha? next question. No, sorry, we couldn't hear you. No, no le escuchamos. Yes, he is. Not, he's not. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see, Leslie, are you happy? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Perfect. Um, let's see, Jonathan, is she at home? Yes, she is, or no, she isn't. Thank you. And the last one, Selena, is he 20? Okay, thank you. So we have yes, he is, or no, he isn't. Excellent. Um, do you have any questions? No teacher. No? No teacher. Is everything todo clear? Aha, seguro que todo está claro. Yes. En el ejemplo 3, ¿cómo quedaría escrita o estructurada la, la pregunta? Number 3. Okay. Three. Yes, we have I late. So let me just share that with you. So you can see that there I have the pronoun that is I and late. So if I'm making questions with the verb to be, I'm going to begin with the verb be. In this case, because I'm talking in first person, I'm going to use am, then the subject and the complement, okay? Am I late? You said yes, I am, or no, I'm not. However, let me tell you that you can answer like this too. Yes, you are, or no, you aren't. Why? Can anyone tell me what's the difference between yes I am or no I'm not and yes you are or no you aren't? Porque soy yo la que está haciendo la pregunta. Ah, okay, perfect. Primero, es como que yo misma me preguntase. Um, uh -huh. Vine tarde. 
o estoy tarde y yo misma me responda. Ah, sí, ya, ya estoy viendo que son ocho y media pasadas. Sí, estoy demasiado tarde. Oh, no, me conecté a las siete y cincuenta y seis, por ejemplo. Ah, so, no, I'm not. Pero con la segunda respuesta o el you are or you aren't, vengo yo y les pregunto a ustedes. Am I late? Entonces ustedes me responden a mí. Ok. Yes, you are. O no, you aren't. Ok. Aquí yo mismo me estoy respondiendo y en esta son ustedes los que están respondiendo esta pregunta por mí. So, for example, uh, let's see. Am I a student? How would you answer that question? No, you're not. Ah, excellent. No, you're not. Or? No, you aren't. Okay, no, you aren't. Okay, so you can see that this question I didn't ask To, I didn't ask to myself. No me la pregunté a mí misma, sino que se las pregunté a ustedes. Entonces, ustedes vienen y res, me responden a mí. Ya diferente sería que yo esté pensando y me diga, este, ¿soy profesora o soy estudiante? Y yo entré en crisis existencial, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, sí, soy profesora. No, 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 no soy profesora. Ahorita yo estoy de estudiante. Por ejemplo, digamos, estoy tomando un curso y llego yo y que voy a llegar de profesor. No. O sea, ahí me tengo que ubicar, ¿verdad? Y decir, no, I'm not. I'm a student. Yo soy una estudiante. ¿Ok? So, that's going to be basically the difference. Esa sería la diferencia, ¿verdad? Is that clear for you? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. Any other question that you may have? No. No. Okay. So we're going to read right now the article that we have in the platform. And then we are going to be working in some exercises, okay? Um, so the reading that we have there is the following. Just Okay, you can see that it is what in a name. Look at the names in the article. Do you know any people with these names? What are they like? So I'm going to begin. Let me see who is the first one that I have on my list. Okay, so I have Selena. Okay, can you read the first paragraph, please? Okay, thank you. It is an important part of your identity. So let's continue. Uh, Francisco. Right now, the two most popular names for babies in the United States are Jacob for Jacob? boys and em Jacob for boys and Emily for girls. Why are these names popular? And why are some names po unpopular? Unpopular, thank you. Leslie, continue. Names can become popular because of famous actors, TV or book characters, or athletes. Popular names suggest very positive things. Unpopular names suggest negative things. Okay, thank Surprisingly, you. Sorry, thank you. Continue, Jonathan. Uh, uh, here or, or? Okay, we are here. Surprisingly. Surprisingly. Singly. Uh, people generally agree on the way they feel about names. Uh, here are some common opinions about names from, 
from a res, recent, recent uh, sorry, a, a recent survey. Survey. Thank you. Um, Ricardo, can you read boys' names, please? Um, boys' names: George, ever boring, Jacob, creative, friendly, Michael, good-looking, athletic, Stanley, nerdy, serious. Okay, thank you. Yes. thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's continue. Let me see with Daphne. Girls' names: Betty, old-fashioned, average. Emily, independent and adventurous. Jane, plain and ordinary. Nicole, beautiful and intelligent. Okay, thank you. Um, Gabriela, continue, please. So, why do parents keep their children in popular names? The big reason is traditions. Many people are named after a family member. Of course, opinions can change over time. Thank you. Continue that, uh, sorry, Tamara. Lo siento confundo el botón con el, 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 aprieto el botón de lápiz siempre. <laughs> eh, so, why? Uh, we are here. No, a name. Boy's name. No, here. Um, almost finishing. Here. A name. Uh, a name that is unpopular now might become popular in the future. That's good news for all the George and Betty and Betty's out there. Okay, thank you. It's okay. Yes, thank you. So you can see that here we have this short article that is what's in a name. So tell me, do you know any people with these names that we have here? For example, George or Jacob, Michael, Stanley. Uh, Betty, Emily, Jane, or Nicole? Yes. Okay, and do you agree with the descriptions that we have here? So for example, we have that George is average and boring. Jacob, it says that he's creative and friendly. Michael, that is good looking and athletic. Stanley, nerdy and serious with girl's no. name. No, you don't agree with that? Why? El Jorge que conozco no es aburrido. Okay. Okay, so you disagree because the one you know is not boring. Exactly. Perfect. Who else? ¿Quién más? Uh -huh. I a par a partners. Your name is Emily. Your name yes. or her name? Her name. Uh -huh. Her name is Emily. She is um, independent and adventurous. She is independent and adventurous. Yes. Ah, so you are in agreement with her name, right? Yes. Usted está de acuerdo con la descripción del nombre, okay. Yes. Perfect. Um, let's see, any other one of you that may know someone with those names? No? So tell me, what about yours? Do you agree with your name? Have you ever 
uh, search what your name means? ¿Alguna vez han investigado qué es lo que significa su nombre? No. No. No, teacher. No, teacher. No, Never. Never. No. no me acuerdo. You don't remember? <laughs> no. Yo igual. Ajá. Okay. Yeah, so let's take a look to that information right now. Um, okay, there is another one thing that is important on that reading that says that we have popular and unpopular names. Um, do you think that the names we have there are popular or unpopular? ¿Qué nombres considerarían ustedes como populares o no populares en nuestro país, por ejemplo? Hi, teacher Carlos. Do you think it's popular? popular? Unpopular? Popular. Yes. Ah, yes. Jose. Jose, popular. Okay, another one? Alexander. Okay, so raise your hand, please. Leslie, okay. Alberto. Alberto, is it popular or unpopular? Popular. Ah. Maria. Maria. Okay, yes, that is another one. Alexander. Okay. Another popular name that we have? Yeah. Which one? Juan is popular. Juan, yes, Juan. What about children nowadays? ¿Qué pasa con los niños hoy en día? ¿Cuáles son los nombres que les están poniendo los papás? Kevin. Kevin, okay. Yes, we have Kevin's. Brian. Mateo. Brian. It's not you, Brian, okay? No es usted, Brian. No, no, no. No lo tome no. mal. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, that's okay. Yeah, those are very popular names. Honestly, we have Brian. Um, Kevin's, one of you say Mateo, what else? Jason. Jason, yes. Alessandro. Alessandro. Michael. Michael, <laughs> yes. And what about girls? Britain. Yeah, la Brittany, la famosa Brittany. I don't have any Brittany here, right? No. So no, okay. Sofia. Sofia. Ah, yes, yeah, Sofia is another one that is very popular. Let's see, another one? Taylor. Taylor? Okay. Diana. Diana, yes. Kennedy. Which one? Genesis. Ah, Genesis. Yes, Genesis. Another one I remember now is Belen. That is becoming very popular. Um, let's see, another name? Marcela. Mar Marcela, Jennifer, what else? Valentina. Valentina. Valeria. Valeria, okay. So you can see that we have very, very popular Names. What about unpopular names? Marisol. Marisol. Okay, yes. Probably your grandparents or great grandparents were named, for example, Gertrudis. Or let's see another one. Trinidad. Ah, yeah, Trinidad. Cruz. Agust Cruz. Which other one? Agustina. Agustina, <laughs> yes. Um, if you remember, uh, like probably 50 years ago, people were named according to the day that they were born. La gente les ponía el nombre del calendario. ¿verdad? El calendario, yeah, yes. Yes. Sure. 
So what would your name be if you were called? Like mm. the day that you were born. ¿Cómo se llamarían ustedes si les hubieran puesto el nombre de, del santo de ese día? Do you know? I don't know. Which one, Ramón. sorry? Ramón. Ramón. <laughs> And do you like Ramón? <laughs> no, I don't like. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there are very names, well, different names that we probably don't use anymore. Ya no lo usamos, ¿verdad? For, for example, I remember Petronila or Petronilo también. Tomás. Tomás. We still have some Tomás, but probably Tomasino. Or Tomasina. Okay, thank you. So now, um, what we are going to do is just a short practice. Vamos a hacer entonces lo que es una práctica. Pancracia. Uy, okay, yes. That's another name that probably doesn't exist anymore. Can you imagine being named Pancracia? Miss Pancracia, venga para acá, por favor. No. For Miss, Mr. Pancracio, you have a phone call? No. Okay, so you can see that now we have popular names and unpopular names that probably uh, we won't use anymore. Okay, so what I need you to do right now is a uh, short practice about what we were studying. Vamos a hacer una práctica de lo que hemos estudiado. That is information questions and yes, no questions with the verb to be. So what are we going to do? Es lo que vamos a hacer entonces. So for example, uh, one of you is going to tell us an affirmative sentence and another one is going to make that affirmative sentence into a question, okay? Necesito que uno de ustedes me diga una oración afirmativa. La otra persona, esa misma oración la va a hacer, pero de manera interrogativa. Ya sea pregunta abierta o cerrada. So, for example, if I say, it is cold today, what can you tell me the question is going to be? Uh-huh. Is it cold today? Is it cold today? ¿Qué tipo de pregunta es? ¿Abierta o cerrada? Afirmative. Um, it's cerrada. cerrada. Why? Uh, okay, Leslie. Porque solamente requiere una respuesta corta. Okay, perfect. Because we only need a yes or no as an answer. So let's begin. Carlos, tell us an affirmative sentence, please. Um, a sentence, a teacher? Yes, an affirmative sentence using the verb to be. Um, is she pretty? Okay, is she pretty? Gabriela, how is the question going to be? Oh. Yes, ¿cómo quedaría la pregunta para esa oración que ella acaba de hacer? So that's this. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Let's see. Uh, Brian, can you make another affirmative sentence, please? Are you a teacher? No, a sentence. 
Una oración. Ok, ok. You are a teacher. You are a teacher. Thank you. Um, let's see. Ricardo, the question for that sentence. Are you a teacher? Okay, is it right? Affirmative answer, Ricardo. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are? Or yes, I am? Yes, I am. Ah, okay. In negative? No, I am not. Okay, no. I'm not. I am not. Excellent. Raquel, tell me another affirmative statement. The day is free. Okay, sorry. Can you repeat it one more time? The day is pretty. How do, you, how do you spell the last word that you said? T. Uh, not. El día es bonito. Ah, sorry. The, so we have the day is pretty. Pretty or beautiful? Beautiful. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. We're going to have, let me check, Karen. Can you tell us the question for this sentence, please? Is the day beautiful? Okay. So, what if I want to make information questions? Si yo quiero hacer preguntas abiertas con estas tres oraciones que ustedes me han dicho, ¿cómo sería la primera? Okay, Leslie. Do you think she is pretty? Okay, do you think she is pretty? Thank you. Uh, with the next one, you are a teacher. <laughs> do you know uh, uh, that she is a teacher? Or they you are know? teacher. Mm, we have here a teacher. Este artículo me hace saber que es una persona, es decir, en singular. Do you know? Do you know? Is a she is a teacher? A teacher. Okay. Do you know she is a teacher? Okay. And the next one. Any idea? How is, how is the day today? How is the day today? Okay, thank you. Okay, with the first two questions that we have here, do you think she is pretty? And do you know she is a teacher? Do we have yes, no questions or information questions? Can you tell me? What type of questions do we have there? Can you tell me? Information questions. Um, okay, if you remember with information questions, we said that we are going to begin with a WH word. Okay, iniciamos con una WH word. Y acá, 
lo que yo tengo es un auxiliar, lo cual quiere decir que son preguntas. Yes, no question. Ok, son preguntas cerradas. Entonces, si yo quiero hacer una pregunta abierta con she is pretty, ¿cómo me quedaría? What she is pretty? What she is pretty? Mm, no. Why? Ah, ok. Why? She is pretty. Is she pretty? Why is she pretty? Ok, thank you. And the next one? We are talking about a profession here. Estamos hablando de una profesión. ¿Y cuál es la pregunta que usamos cuando queremos saber nuestra profesión? No. Can you repeat? Yes. Tengo acá lo que es what do you do? Excellent. Ok. Tengo acá lo que es una profesión. Si yo quiero saber la profesión de ustedes, la pregunta que voy a hacer es la siguiente. What do you do? I'm a teacher. You are an accountant. You are a salesperson, for example. Ok. Siempre que queremos saber la profesión, usamos esa pregunta. What do you do? Ok. Any questions? No, teacher. No? Okay, so basically that was section one. And tomorrow we will begin with section two. Remember that next Thursday, that is going to be the 26th, we're going to have the midterm, okay? El próximo jueves estaríamos haciendo lo que es el midterm y mañana iniciaríamos entonces lo que es la sección 2, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. okay. So that's going to be all for today. Thank you so much for coming and see good you night, tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Bye, good night. Bye. Bye. Bye.